Welcome back to this week's Children's Ministry Online. We have some worship, a story, and a craft waiting for you, so let's get into it. My soul finds rest in God alone. My soul finds rest in God alone. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from Him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress, I will never be shaken. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress, I will never be shaken, never be shaken. God alone, my soul finds rest in God alone, my soul finds rest in God alone, my salvation comes from Him, He alone is my rock and my salvation, He is my fortress, I will Never be shaken He alone is my rock and my salvation He is my fortress I will never be shaken Never be shaken alone my salvation comes from him my soul finds rest in god alone my salvation comes from him my soul finds rest in god alone my salvation comes from him my soul finds rest in god alone my salvation comes from him he alone is my rock and my salvation he is my fortress i will Never be shaken He alone is my rock and my salvation He is my fortress I will Never be shaken, never be shaken Never be shaken
All right, now it's time to get into our story. So we'll be reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible, and the story for today is God to the Rescue, which is Moses and the Great Escaped from Egypt, which is from Exodus 3 through 13. Joseph and his brothers grew old, and they died. But their children's children stayed on in Egypt, where they became a very large family. Later on, a new king began to rule, but this pharaoh didn't remember Joseph, and he did not like God's people. He made them into slaves and hurt them and made them work harder and harder. God's people cried out to God to rescue them, and God heard them. He remembered his promise to Abraham. He would look after his people. He would find a way to set them free. One day, Moses was looking after sheep when something caught his eye. A bush was behaving very oddly. It was flickering with flames, but its leaves weren't burning up. He took a closer look. Moses, boomed a big voice. Moses leapt back. The bush was talking to him. I have heard my people's cries, God said. I have seen their tears, so I have come down to rescue them. Go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go free. Moses was afraid, but God said, I will be with you. So Moses went to Pharaoh. Pharaoh, Moses began, God says, wait, God, said Pharaoh, never heard of him. Moses kept going though. God says to let his people go free. Why should I, Pharaoh said. I don't want to, so I won't. And he didn't. So God gave Pharaoh 10 warnings. They were called plagues. First, God turned the river Nile into blood. No one could drink the water, but still Pharaoh would not let them go. So God made frogs come hopping and leaping and jumping. In your bed, there were frogs. In your hair, frogs. In your soup and everywhere, there were frogs. Make them go, Pharaoh screamed. Then your people can go. So God took the frogs away. But then Pharaoh changed his mind. Never mind, you can't go, he said. Then God sent zillions of little gnats. But still, Pharaoh said, no. So then God sent swarms of flies, flies buzzing in your eyes. And after that, sickness horrible boils and huge hailstorms and a storm of locusts, then darkness when it should have been day, until it seemed that the whole world, creation and everything, was coming undone. It was falling back into darkness and emptiness and just nothingness. But each time, Pharaoh said, make it stop and then I'll let them go. And each time when God made it stop, Pharaoh changed his mind and said, actually, no, you can't go. Finally, Moses warned Pharaoh, obey God or he will have to send the worst thing of all. Pharaoh just laughed. So God said, the oldest boy in each family of Egypt must die, but my people will be safe. God told his people to take their best lamb, to kill it, and to put some of its blood on their front doors. When God passes over your house, Moses explained, God will see the blood and know that the lamb died instead of you. That night, it was just as God had said. Suddenly, piercing the darkness, echoing down the corridors of the palace, came a blood-curdling scream. Pharaoh's oldest son had died. At last, Pharaoh did what God said. Get out, Pharaoh shouted. Just go. And so that very night, Moses and God's people fled out of Egypt and out of slavery. They were free at last. God's people would always remember this great rescue and call it the Passover. But an even greater rescue was coming. Many years later, God was going to do it again. He was going to come down once more to rescue his people. But this time, God was going to set them free forever and ever. 
when God has a plan for you or when God has a plan for his people, he follows through with it. He makes sure that it gets done. Even if there are people in this world that try and go against it, he will protect you and he will help the plan that he has in mind really come through. I hope that that was very encouraging for you. So now let's get into the craft. Okay, now it's time to get into our craft. So for the supplies that we will need for this is uh, two pieces of paper. And I actually just have the two pieces of paper because they're really thin and I couldn't find any of our thick pieces of paper. So if you don't have construction paper, which is the thicker paper, you can just use two uh, regular pieces and then we'll tape or glue them together. And that's how we'll make them a little bit thicker. Um, otherwise you will just need one piece of paper that's the thicker kind. If you have green, that might be easier because we are going to be making a frog for this craft. So it might be easier than coloring the whole page green. Next, you will need a paper plate. So if you don't have a paper plate, you can also just use a blank sheet of paper. You can take a big bowl and shape, like just draw it. So let's pretend this is the bowl. You'll take it and draw around it. You'll cut it out and then it's pretty much like you have a plate. This one just has the rims on the outside. Um, and then we'll need our scissors, tape, and uh and or glue stick so you can use one or the other or both and then you'll need your markers crayons color pencils all that fun stuff so while you all get that stuff i'll meet you back here in a sec All right, once you have all of your supplies, now we can get started. So we'll start with our paper plate or the circle that you drew from a regular piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half. So you'll fold it like this and there'll be kind of a, a bump you can kind of see, um, but you'll just kind of fold it and make the crease on the edge so that when you do this, it kind of stays there and you can do that. So that's how we're gonna kind of make the jumping part. This is gonna be the mouth of the frog. So now we'll grab our piece of paper or our two pieces of paper, depending on if you have thick or non-thick. And we are going to draw four legs. So we'll draw the two that go in the front, the two that go in the back. We're gonna draw a little tongue that's gonna poke out of the mouth of the frog. And then we're gonna make a rectangle or a square. And that's just gonna have a message inside of us for us to remember what the frog is for. So let's start with the frog's little legs. Um, so we'll do the two front ones that are going to kind of come out of this. So just kind of make that and then we'll make the little loops. Now frogs have kind of interesting feet. They have like webbed kind of weird, not like us where we have five fingers and they're all kind of nicely aligned. These ones are very different. So um, I will draw the rest of the four legs and you can um, follow along or make them however you would like. Okay, now we can make the little tongue and the rectangle square that we're going to be putting a message on. So you can kind of flip this this way. And since this is the bigger part, we'll make our square right here. It doesn't have to be a really big or large rectangle. Um, and then we'll have the tongue go right here. So I'll grab pink to use for the tongue and I'll just kind of do that. Something like that. And then we will have 
we'll use the Jesse's gray and we'll make that as the rectangle. So now what we can do is we can color in the green um, feet that we've made and the pink tongue. So go ahead and color all of those in. If you want, you can color this guy in as well, but remember we are gonna be writing a message inside of that. So go ahead and start coloring your frog parts. Okay, so once you have colored all of these in, now we can go ahead and write our message in this square. And our mes message is just gonna say, God rescues his people with the 10 plagues. So once you're done with all of these, go ahead and cut them all out. And if you have two pieces, remember that you have two pieces when you're cutting and try and cut simultaneously. That way it'll be easier to glue or tape together. Okay, now we can go ahead and tape these together. So you'll see that there are two pieces of paper. So go ahead and tape or glue, if you would like to glue, you can do that, all of your legs, the tongue, and this message board all together. All right, once you have glued all of these together, they will have thicker piece of paper so it'll just make them a little bit less clumsy um, or flimsy. So now we are going to make our frog. So first I'm gonna have us draw the eyes of our frog, that way we can color around that. So you'll make two kind of big medium sized circles that and then you're going to make I'll just make this a little bit bigger you'll make a loop like that and then you'll make a smaller circle on the inside and then we're gonna fill all this in so this looks like the eye so now we've made two eyes and then we're gonna have the tongue sticking out like that. So go ahead and color your frog however you would like. I am going to kind of do a little bit of mixture of greens um, with my markers and my colored pencils. So go ahead and make your frog however you would like. Okay, once you've colored the front part of your frog, now we can glue the tongue to the side. So you can glue it or you can tape it, whichever one. I will actually probably tape mine. That way it kind of has a little bit of a loosey, loosey part to it. Um, so we'll do this, we'll tape that, and then it looks like that. So now, we're going to take our hands, put them, we're gonna glue them to the bottoms because they're not inside the, like that. 
So that's how they're going to be. So we will either glue or tape. I'll go ahead and just tape it. And then we'll do the same thing with our back feet. We can also tape it to the front here. That way it kind of doesn't fall out. Perfect. Just like that. So now these ones will get glued back here like that. So it looks like his legs are popping out. So we'll flip this over and we will tape our back legs like that. All right, now we have our little frog, and this is going to be what is on the inside of the mouth. So that'll be just on the inside so that when you open up the mouth, you can see this. You're also welcome to draw on here if you would like, um, just to kind of add some detail to it. You can add as much as you would like, um, but for right now, I am just going to Tape this message to the inside of the frog's mouth. Just like that. And now when we open it, we know exactly why we made the frog. So that is our craft for today. I hope that it helps give you a little reminder of how God helped Moses um, escape from Egypt. Thanks for watching this week's Children's Ministry Online. Remember to post some of the crafts that you have made onto our Facebook page. We would love to see all of the amazing things that you all have made. Well, we hope that you have a great rest of your week and we'll see you soon.